Good afternoon everyone, this is Brett. In today's lesson, we're gonna to try to help you fight being depressed on vacation. Okay, we've all been there. Your trip is coming to an end, your vacation with your family or your friends, your cruise, uh, your holiday beach vacation off the coast of Spain. It's coming to an end, you've gotta go home, and now you're not happy. And you don't know what to do, you don't know how to act, you don't can't stop it either. So we're gonna talk about that. I've had this plenty of times in my life. Let me put my hat on here. I've had this plenty happen plenty of times in my life, uh, more so with family and friends than it has to me. And the reason I'm going to talk about this topic is because everybody talks about everything, but they don't talk about the meat and potatoes of the emotion that goes with traveling as well, or the 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 commitment, so to speak. It's probably not the right word. I'm sure it's not the right word, but all right. So anyway, I'm drinking the other night at a local watering hole, and a couple of my friends came back. They had been in Nashville for about the, about a week. And so I said, you know, man, how was your trip? He goes, oh, it was so great. I just didn't want to come home. You know, I just, last day, I was I was just depressed. I didn't want to, didn't want to do anything. I was almost like I had cement boots. If you had a great time, appreciate the fact. If you didn't want to leave, that's a good thing. That means you like the place make another make reservations to go back plan a trip for a year or two down the road or five years down the road whatever's comfortable for you when it comes to cruises since i cruise a lot this is easy for me i usually have multiple cruises booked at the same time and that's one of the things you'll know about people that cruise a lot is they always have another one booked just because of the affordability of cruising so i'm just sitting here just thinking and there's there's no easy answer for this all right so i'll tell you something else this is a pain in the ass People want me to do vlogs and go on places, you know, before I, on the cruises, they bring this thing. This thing right here has a mind of its own. You know, this is supposed to be one of those gimbal things. I've had this thing two months. I can't get the goddamn thing to work. All right, so that's what that's what actually depresses me. It's not the last day. Here's, here's another way to look at it. And I, I, I could go on and on, and hopefully I'll get my wife to throw some two cents in here. Uh, when you know she's available make the best of the last day you know if you're traveling somewhere go out and sightsee uh, go to that bar that you liked or the barbecue joint you liked or you know if you wanted a filet mignon somewhere go have it don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself because you're the only one doing it you're the one feeling sorry for yourself that's that in the, that in a nutshell is the, about the best way I can explain it and you can always go back that's the biggest thing I tell people. If you liked it, book another trip. If you're on a cruise and you feel like you're getting depressed, hey, here's an idea. On board, you'll get bonuses. Go on board and go see your cruise consultant or your cruise planner. And you know what? Book another trip. That way, when the trip is over, it's not really over. You've already got another one planned. And that's the big secret when it comes to cruises. Like I said earlier, people that cruise, cruise a lot and they do it for a good reason because they always have multiple trips planned you can ask anybody that cruises regularly and they'll tell they'll tell you that they have multiple trips planned regularly and so they never really have that depression factor when they get off the ship it's a nice day but man it is hot it's i don't know if you can see all this but it is hot and you know while we're on that topic we'll talk about me living in florida i hate the heat i'll be honest with you i hate the six or seven months of florida uh, where it's 100 degrees every single day. So that sort of depresses me. But I look at the good. I look at the why I did it in the first place. I look at the five ports or the six ports, if you can include West Palm Beach. And that makes me smile, even in this hot weather, or a nice breeze anyway. There's a nice little breeze coming in. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't pick Florida living. There's too many crackers around here. You know, look up the Florida cracker. They're everywhere. All right, I should probably rename this video depressed on your last day of vacation all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to walk through what i typically do on the last day of vacation whether or not it's a cruise or you know uh, three weeks in europe and let me tell you three weeks in europe or you know i did four weeks a couple years ago and by the time it was over i wasn't depressed i was kind of happy to go home because it gave me a little break from vacation after a while vacation gets to be a little too much in any event we're going to talk about somebody that's on say a seven day trip here you went to Orlando or you go to Miami or like me a cruise I'll wake up in the morning I already know my game plan 
is I'm going to go have some breakfast. I'm going to relax. I'm going to enjoy the sights of Lido deck. Or I'm going to go to, you know, one deck higher, to, you know, look at the water, take some pictures, do some wide angle ones. I love doing those panoramic ones that you know what I'm talking about. I love doing that. And then right after breakfast, before we really get comfortable, I go back to the, the room or the state room, wherever I'm at, and I pack the majority of my shit. Because I don't want to get in the way of my afternoon. I want to be able to appreciate it, take pictures, uh, have a good time, have some cocktails, uh, take a show in, have a good dinner, whatever it may be. I don't want to have to go back in my state room and say, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm oh, sorry, I'm not French there. You know, the trip's almost over. You know, if I want to be able to go to a casino, I want to go build a casino. If I want a show or a nice dinner, I want that nice dinner, a glass of wine on Lido or you know, app, an app bar somewhere on a cruise. I want that. And so by 11 o'clock, all my stuff's packed. All my wife's stuff's packed. We just have the necessities out that we need. And then they can go on. You know, we can slip them in the carry-on. We don't check bags anymore. Those, those days are long gone. Not really a need for, if you, if you travel correctly, there is no need for checking bags. Just be grateful. I mean, that's, that's such a big deal. Be grateful, uh, be humbled, embrace it. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's not guaranteed, so don't be depressed about today. I know it's easier said than done, but smile. The sun's going down, you've got your partner, whoever it may be, next to you, and you're watching the sunset if possible. If you want an afternoon movie with some popcorn, hey, that's fine, too. If you want to play some bingo, whatever it is that's your day, make it your own. Enjoy the moment. I don't know. I don't know if I accomplished anything here. I hope I did. Just smile. I mean, that's that's the best thing about traveling is, I mean, I know we've all heard the war stories, but for the most part, everybody comes back unharmed. Not me, but it happens. Um, make plans. Say, listen, you know what? I'm not happy we're going home, but I want to make a deal that we're going to start traveling more. Or we'll make the most of your day. And don't sweat the small stuff. Win big in the casino. Tie one on. Go to bed at a reasonable time. That way, when it comes to leaving the hotel or the ship, you know, you're not in a cluster about trying to figure out what to do. You're organized. You know, how many times you wake up and somebody's like, well, I haven't even packed yet. And you're all done. You're waiting by the gangway ready to get off the ship. I don't know. I think that's all I have on the topic. If I think of something, I'll redo the video. But if you have any questions or comments, leave them. Otherwise, hey, you know, I learned this long ago. If you can't be good, be good at it. See ya.